Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the 21st March. This, that is yesterday's godly blessing, and what does Baba want us to do over here, and how he wants us to become a holy swan, and what he wants us to do by attaining the knowledge, and also by attaining the knowledge, we fly high in a stage of complete perpetual bliss. So how do we attain that bliss is what we're going to explore over here. Let's go ahead with the blessing. The heading goes like this. Baba says or Godfather says, May you be a holy swan who swims in the water of knowledge. A swan swims in water. Here God is saying water of knowledge and flies in the highest stage. And when the swan takes a flight, the swan flies in the highest stage. Highest stage means the mind is in a very high stage of bliss. Nothing can bring it down. Just as a swan either swims in water or flies in the same way, you holy swan children know how to fly. That means any situation comes, it cannot bring us down. It cannot bring our state of mind down. We cannot be saddened by any situation. We cannot be saddened by any of the five elemental upheaval or by any person or by any weakness within. So we cannot be shaken up. God then says, children know how to fly and also how to swim. To churn the knowledge means to swim in the nectar of knowledge. God has given us the seven day course and we have learned the knowledge every day. We have one hour of a spiritual study in Brahma Kumaris. Then we churn that knowledge, we understand that knowledge and then we become immovable and unshakable. We understand the complete nature of people. We understand the complete nature of this drama. Or the water of knowledge and to fly means to have a high stage, high mental stage. Holy swans who churn the knowledge and stay in a high stage can never become disheartened or hopeless in any situation. Why me? Why not that person? Why it has to happen to me? Why people shout at me? Why people get angry with me? What, do, what have I done in my life? Why it happens to me? You cannot say all those things when you have this knowledge and you are churning this knowledge on a daily basis. God then says, they put a full stop to the past and become free from any web of what or why. Why it happened? What happened? Put a full stop. I am a soul. It happened in the past. Now what I have to do and what will going to happen in the future by my actions now is what I have to focus on. They fly and enable others to fly. They don't pull other people down also. I am feeling sad, I will make sure that the other person also comes down. He also or she also understands that because of her or him, I am feeling sad, though I will make him come down. I will make him feel sad for my state of being, what he has put me or what she has put me into. No, 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 no. A Brahmin soul, a knowledgeable soul will never pull any other soul down. Can never do that. So how do you become that powerful soul? This is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, the seven day course is there for you. For free, you can go ahead and you can take that course and understand the state of mind which God wants us to achieve with his own shanti.